Hello, chess students. In this video, I will learn you how to play against Benoni defense. Benoni. This video will be useful for, uh, especially for London amateurs, for those players who like London system with white, and of course also with uh, for D4 players. Okay, D4, C5. Uh, yeah, this is an old Benoni. Now, the, why this is a pop this is a popular nowadays because uh, many many players, uh, many of my students, they prefer uh, <laughs> play London system. Okay, not all many many of my students, many amateur players, many players in online platforms like to play bishop four, but unfortunately for white, uh, this is bishop four doesn't work because c takes d four, queen takes and knight c six and uh, okay this is a very and okay, very bad for white. Mm. Yeah, also c3. After c3, c takes c takes. This is a Slav exchange version of Slav. Very boring position, and uh, I cannot recommend you to play this with white. So for this reason, my recommendation is, of course, to play. Uh, Ambitiously and was born on d5. So uh, and here, uh, here uh, Black has two uh, two plans, uh, two plans, uh, two ideas. First, uh, two strategies. First is uh, play uh, e5 with the intention to develop the bishop on e7, and the second strategy is to develop the bishop on g7, so fianchetto, fianchetto of this dark square bishop. Uh, so first of all, uh, what to do against the five? Okay, e4, d6. Uh, this is a basic idea of the old Benoni. It was played many times by such uh, famous uh, Soviet uh, coach Mark Dvoreski. Uh, yeah, and Black's idea is just play. Oh. So the idea is first of all to exchange dark square bishops, uh, and in case of uh, knight f3, with the intention to develop the knight and to prevent uh, bishop g5, uh, Black's uh, goal for bishop to g4 and after for example bishop e2 take take and bishop g5 sorry no not of course not g5 bishop to g5 and uh, black has very very comfortable position so for this reason very important here to remember to memorize bishop b5 check now in case of knight to d7 the second very important move a6 a4 yeah the idea that in case of the normal knight c3 uh, black has this idea so for this reason it is better to prevent this idea and play a4 now after bishop 7 knight f3 and there is no bishop to g4 so Yeah, knight c3, short castle, a6. Now, very b6, uh, logical move. So, in case of uh, knight e8, white has a very good positional idea, a5. And uh, now, 5 is not a good idea because of a takes b6 and knight takes b6, and uh, this pawn on a6 is isolated. For this reason, uh, b6 is better, but now very important for white to remember this plan. Knight d2, knight c4. Uh, also, I want to add that this is a typical plan for many Benoni, uh, for different types of Benoni uh, positions. Uh, you have to remember it. Mm. Knight, knight c4 is very good, very unpleasant uh, for black. This and uh, now. Uh, so very difficult for, for black to play five, and also if black uh, uh, advance uh, b five, for example, rook b eight and b five, 
Mm, white has an idea to play after ATX B5, uh, ATX B5, Knight to A5, and then Knight C6. So also there is four ideas. In some moment, black has to be also very careful with this pawn push. Okay, mm, now a few words about other strategy G6. So, also, very often black starts with d6, knight c3, g6, e4, knight to f3, knight to f6, bishop e2, short castle, short castle. So, knight a6, very good idea. Black's main plan here is to um, advance b5. And, and uh, what to do? How to stop it? Also, um, knight d2 is very interesting plan. And uh, first of all, I recommend you to study this old game of Vasily Smyslov, Smyslov Lothar Schmidt. Yeah, it was, this position was uh, met in this game. And now Vasily Smyslov played d3. Uh, very nice uh, prophylactic idea. Uh, very nice prophylaxis. Uh, against the five. The idea that after b takes b takes c4, there is a b takes c4. This is was the idea of Vasilis slot. Uh, now a6 the wife idea doesn't work. What else? And the, the second plan was it was played in the game of uh, Antoli Karpov, Karpov Korchnoi, very famous game. Uh, Okay, first uh, it was the transposition from Pirtu Fimsov in the last game of the uh, very famous match and Baggio. So this position was played in this match, and this game is very, very instructive. And the game of Anatoly Karpov was uh, the play by uh, Anatoly Karpov was very instructive. Okay, uh, you see the plan of Anatoly Karpov. Uh, yeah. So Anatoly Karpov play first of all this idea, bishop c4 and queen d3. Um, so this construction, uh, the main idea of course to stop uh, b5 break. Okay, d1, all pieces uh, in the center of the board. And now the plan to chain this dark square bishop because without this dark square bishop black's control play on the queen side is not so uh, dangerous for white and the idea to play five is still very unpleasant for black and also the idea to attack this king is also very unpleasant without dark square bishops yeah, and the second plan is knight e2, knight g3, and now e5. Okay, and finally, Anatoly Karpov won this uh, very nice game. Okay. If this, uh, I, I hope this video will be useful for you. Subscribe for this channel and also, if you have, a, if you want to uh, to take lessons, I can help you. I'm not. I'm intentional grandmaster, and I'm especially. Uh, so I played for twenty years uh, before openings, uh, uh, but also nowadays I'm quite good in uh, before. Okay, send me a message on Liches and. Uh, I will help you.